how's everybody doing there and so what are we here to talk about today fellow geeks okay well your office here had something on his mind and I kind of wanted to talk about it but more importantly it's due to the fact that um, soon well tomorrow officially we are going to be introduced to the final movie of phase four of Black Panther and in Black Panther Wakanda forever now we've had this conversation before and somewhat but I think now it was a time I think it's the time because not too long ago actually uh, four days ago um, I was I was at my job and um, my evening supervisor I have two supervisors my morning supervisor and my evening supervisor and she came by just to check on me see how I was doing everything like that and I'm like I'm fine Lucy I'm, I'm good and so she she and she she is really big into the superhero movies doesn't matter which ones but she knows that I'm a I'm a big geek and she knows that I'm real knowledgeable about this stuff and so she asked me she said so she comes by she says hey Chris how are you doing I'm like I'm you good I'm like yeah I'm good no problem and she said oh yeah so by the way um you ready for Black Panther? I was like, yeah, I, I am. I'm, I'm really interested and hyped to see it. You know, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do, um, as well as in, them in, introducing, you know, Namor and all of them. You know, changing. You know, I don't mind about the changing of the name. You know, instead of calling them Atlanteans in this, but things like that. And she said, yeah, I'm, I'm really. This should, this should be interesting. And then she said, and then she asked me. She says. Do you think they should in eventually recast T'Challa? And I sat there and I thought about it for a good couple of minutes. And I said to myself, I said, I said, you know what? I said, you know, Lucy, let me tell you, um, honestly, they probably will and eventually they probably will recast and she asked when what do you think that and I and I was just like you know it's gonna take some time we're, we're still as as people are still reeling from his death Mr. Bowman kept that a secret from everybody and and still worked what a G respects you know Mr. Bowman was becoming, in my opinion, the becoming one of those the guys that you can look at right on the same echelons of Tom Hanks as one of the kings of biop movies. The man has put his his stamp on so many iconic figures in American history. In history, um, he was going to go on to do the the biop for the only first black uh, samurai you know they they're going they're still going to do the movie but yeah you know they he was going to be that that character but he's done james brown he's done thurgood marshall he's done jackie robinson you know he's and i've seen all those movies he he played in and he was great he really portrayed a lot so when he was cast as Black Panther, we rejoiced and we were happy for him. And did he carry that role with honor and respect? And did he carry that role? And do I feel that the legends Jack Kirby and Stan Lee would look at him and in and, and, and awe, homage to the character? Hell yeah, I do. He played that role so well. But at the time, and this is what I was telling her, I was at this time, at that time, that's when you were seeing all these yokels, all these, 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 these ingrates, these selfish ingrates. And this is one thing that I don't appreciate about the geek universe and the geek community is like the darker side of the geek community I hate. Those, all those yokels basically just throwing once said, when are you going to recast him? When are you going to recast him? And it was like, at that point, the man was not even put 
to rest and you selfish ingrates are saying all this nonsense. And then you have the ingrates that were, were saying and would be like, well, man, come, come on, man, look at all, look at all the people, look at all the men that played Captain, um, Cat played Batman. Look at all the characters that played James, Bron James Bond and, all, and, and Superman and all that. And this is where I would counteract those questions real quick, real fast. Were they playing the same character? Were they playing the same character? You talk about James Bond. Was, was Sir Sean Connery Roger and Roger Moore, were they playing the same Bond? Or was Roger Moore and Timothy Dalton playing the same Bond? Timothy Dalton, Jet Pierce Brosnan playing the same Bond? Pierce Brosnan, Daniel Craig playing the same? No, they weren't. Because that would be stupid. 007 became a title for a new agent to take that role. Same thing with Batman. Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer. Were they playing the same Batman? No, they weren't. They weren't. Same thing with, with Superman, in my opinion. Was Christopher Reeves and Brendan Roth playing the same Superman? That's where it gets a little debatable to me because it was like, were they? Because Superman Returns felt like it was a continuing of Superman 2 where he kissed Lois and <laughs> she lost memory of who he was and also had a kid. You see where I'm going at with that? Yeah. It was a difference. It was a big difference. But these these selfish ingrates couldn't understand that. Now, yes, I understand that Mr. Bozeman's brother even said the role should be recast. I get that. I understand that to, to, to the point. I understand. But with that being said, his brother had such a prominent effect on us as a whole and when I mean us not just blacks but every nation you thought you could think of felt that man's death he was clearly on God mode he was a, he felt like a God to most people because of his representation of that character and you give a lot to Ryan Coogler and all of but at the same time it's hard to just forget that, forget what that man did, and then just go on to someone else. Now, once again, you can say the same thing. Marvel has recasted Thunderbolt Ross. William Hurt, great actor, took over the role. But before William Hurt, who was, who was uh, Thunderbolt Ross? Before MCU, Sam Neill. Not Sam Neill. Uh, Believe, yeah. <laughs> Great. Sam, I, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting who it is. But you know what? Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott was Ross. And then William Hurt took, took the role. Now, it goes from William Hurt now to the man himself, Harrison Ford. And I think he'll do a good job. But. Ross never had that impact that Chadwick had, that T'Challa had. He didn't. And those people need to realize that. And that's something that they just don't seem to realize. So when I was hearing people just say, oh, they should recap, I was getting tired of it. And I'm telling, I'm telling my supervisors, I'm like, I was just getting tired of it. Like, let them play out what they want, okay? Stop being selfish. Let them play out where they're going to go with this. Kugler even talked about how hard it was to rewrite that script and to rewrite the whole movie and give it a feel that even Chadwick still feels Chadwick's presence in this movie. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that plays out. But eventually, yes, I do feel throughout all due time, 
when the when the sun is right, when the when the, the signs are aligned, we will see a recasting. Now let's say, for example, if they did recast him right after Bozeman, and let's just say this, and I'm, I'm gonna use this and another example. Let's say they did. Chadwick Bowen passed away to child, but Marvel already had another. Marvel has already recasted only after, as as those selfish ingrates, two days, like a week after his death, and they said. Sterling Brown is now going to play T'Challa. Sterling Brown, great actor, good actor. Yes, indeed. I would feel so bad for Mr. Brown or any actor who took up that role after, after Mr. Bozeman. Because now all eyes are on him. And, and people are just going to nitpick and look at them like, well, no, nah, he, he's not it. He's not, he's not right, he's not right. Nah, he doesn't work. Is that what you want? And that's what I was telling my, my super, I'm like, is that what you want? Do you, or do you want them to recast an actor who will fulfill that role, but also bring his own nuance to the role, but also pay respects to what Chadwick did in four, over four movies. Yeah, over four movies, technically, yeah. Do you, or do you not? I would believe you do. But I do feel that is it will happen. Now, the multiverse is around, and we could see a variant of T'Challa, maybe. And, and we already, and it's already been acknowledged by the writers, uh, Mr. Bradley of What If, um, that all that stuff is in whole a part of the MCU so there are variants so we saw a variant of T'Challa where he wasn't even the Black Panther he was Star-Lord hell I know it because I actually cosplayed in honor and respect to Mr. Bozeman this year as that character so yes we could see that we could see a variant and when I said that, my supervisor Lucy says, "Where would you, where would you iconically want him to debut, return?" And I thought about that, and I thought about that for a good time, and I'm like, "Hmm, where could, where could they re bring in T'Challa again?" And I didn't bring it up before, but I should have said it. When someone asked me this before, but I said, you know what? The perfect opportunity would probably be Secret Wars. And that, and I've already said, I've already made my notion real loud, like what story they may adapt from Secret Wars. They may take Hickman's Secret Wars that came out in 2015, I believe where it was the ultimate universe and the regular 616 about to collide. So, and in that, Dr. Doom was God, but also in that, T'Challa fought Doom for the, for the safety of the multiverse. And he had the affinity gauntlet on. And he fought Dr. Doom. So I could see them maybe feeling that would be the right time to do it. Right now, it is not the time. It is not the time. Let things play out. Let things go to a way it is. And we'll see where it takes it. But right now, it's not the right time to recast uh, Black Panther. Recast Chadwick Boseman as, as Black Panther. Right now, let them... Let Ryan Coogler and Marvel and Kevin Feige and all of them play, play out where they're going to go with this. Because at the end of the day, no matter what, as fans, we should support it. But also as fans, we should, we should really stop being so selfish with our feelings on it and realize that we have no real say. Let it play out. You know, and that was what, what I told my supervisor. 
and she looked at that and she was like, you know, that's that's kind of perfectly set, you know. We talked for a good hour. We were just talking, you know, because at the same time, you know, she's someone who just watches the movie. She she's never read any of the source the source materials and the books and stuff. I have. I'm a, you're you're listening to a guy who's been reading comics since he was 10 years old, nearly 30 years, and have kept up with what goes on in these books to see where these writers take these characters. And yeah, it does. And it's, and what, what what the difference is between the comics and the movies is. You can't just, you can kill off the character there, they can come back later on, but in the movies, the actor dies. There's no coming back from that. There's no Dragon Balls that can wish them back to life or anything like that. So you have to look at it from that point too and realize that that's definitely an, uh, something that you have to really accept. But you have that stuff where you see just the selfishness in some people that were just like, oh, you got to recast them. You gotta recast them. No, they, they don't have to do anything. You you need to just slow down and be like, see where they're gonna take it. Right now, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever comes out tomorrow. Comes out November 11th. This is the final movie of phase four. And even, even critics are saying all good things and everything like that. I. I could care less about critics too much because it's my experience that matters. But the point of that is, is just we all we have to also look at it from that point. Is like, okay, it is, it is a very very interesting ordeal. But at the same time, I do feel that. He will be recasted, and it just has to make sense. I feel that the most sensible would probably be Secret Wars. Just saying. And from there, you can go wherever you need to. But just to recast him, just to put some sense or satisfaction on, yes, they recast it. No, it's not right. It's not right at all. So uh, yeah, that that's all I got to say about that, guys. Um, you know, it, it is it was something interesting, and I thought I'd bring it up because, like I said, you know, me and my supervisor were talking, and and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna bring this up to the pack and talk to them and let them know how I feel about it after a while because at first it was like, yeah, don't recast it, it's dumb, it's not. But now, after a while, I've thought about it. I'm like, yeah, we probably will see a recast it. But the fact is, there's a difference with him, is because how impactful his his death hurt the world. There you go. Anything, guys, you guys take care. And, uh,